The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. Guys, I don't know who needs to hear this. Somebody needs to hear this. And I don't know if you already know this, but your coworkers are not your fucking friends. They're not. Some of you may already know this, especially for some of you older cats. You've probably known this longer than I've been alive. Your coworkers are not your friends, man. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for listening. And in this episode, this was on my mind right off the rip, right? And shout out to, to a YouTuber, the After Pill. He gave me the inspiration to make this podcast right with because what he was talking about in his particular video kind of made me think about your co-workers in trucking your co-workers in trucking right and i could probably use this a little bit on youtube as well but it's mainly for trucking right they're not your friends your co-workers in trucking could be your biggest ops that's standing right next to you you could turn around and think that dude is all kiki and buddy buddy and all that good stuff with you and all like that nah nah it'd be the same person that be kiki and with the people in the office be the same person that be up in your face he he ha ha and, and be the same person that be in the safety department talking about whatever the fuck you did wrong co-workers is not your friends man none I don't think I will be the first to tell you, but I damn sure won't be the last to tell you that your co-workers are some of the most grimiest, some of the most hateful, some of the most envious people that you could probably come across. And that's and, and that's just not in the trucking, right? It's in the workplace, period. More so in trucking, though. Listen, listen, right? You thinking that that co-worker right there that you hanging out with, or key Ken, tell them your personal business. Tell them your life story. Tell them your secrets. Tell them that you was smacking boots in, in the back of your bunk when you're not supposed to have nobody in there. Tell them that. And I guarantee you that everything that you tell them, that same person that you told that you thought that was your friend, that you thought that was your co-worker, would be the same one that runs back and let the safety department know, hey, he had an unauthorized person in his truck. You definitely will have a reckoning coming. And then you're gonna sit back and and say to yourself, damn, I wish I never fucked with that person. You could probably use this same thing towards YouTube as well. A lot of YouTube friends could be your biggest ops. There was times that group don't like you. They, they have like, in between conversations that will go clearly over your head and they'll be talking about you within that between and you'll never know it until you probably do something out of the ordinary to somebody that don't like you and then they'll take that information about you and come out and make their own video about you and you'll sit there and you'll be like oh i thought we was cool i thought we but you come to find out that they never liked you from the jump it doesn't matter it yeah. doesn't matter if they met you in person or not because i feel that if if i met you in person then that's different but if i if i haven't met you in person how can i not like you if i haven't met you i could probably not like what you said i might not agree with your opinions or anything like that but you as a person i don't know because i never met you i never shook hands with you i never sat at the table with you would i ever sit at the table with you i don't know but then a lot of people that has sat at the table with a lot of people in trucking it always turns to shit it circles right down in the drain but back to trucking though same thing with with your co-workers you thought they was your friends you thought you was cool with them you told them something that was thinking that they was that it was going to be between you only to find out that the information that you said about such and such comes right back to you and saying hey old boy said that you said that about me because what's up
Hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, consider, okay? Y'all got two options. Well, one, but two options. You can either subscribe for the channel for more. And if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early, make sure you join. Join the channel, all right? Shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man. Thank you very much. Now let's get back to the show. Hey, well, damn it, man. I thought me and that bro was cool. I thought I could, but you can't, you can't, you can't. Your coworkers are grimy, man. They're not there to be honest with you, to be friends. They dare to be your competition. They dare to grab, to gather information. That's what they're there for. They there to get the information so they can use against you to make them look better. Now you do have some coworkers that do get along with each other. Like let's take my mom for example. Years ago, she worked in the plant decades, like 30 plus years at the same plant. So her and her coworkers kind of like had a had a bond. But this is back in the day. This is back in the 80s. This is back in the in the 70s where where before social media even exist, where true friends really was about being true friends. But now since she got social media, it ain't even about that no more. Because every time you do something, it's always a coworker that has a video out on TikTok about their coworkers. It's the coworker that will have a hidden camera or a hidden microphone just to listen to you go off on your boss. It'll be that coworker. And then it'll be uploaded to TikTok and then it'll get back to the boss. And then co that so-called coworker that was cool with you will be the same one that did it, will but be the same one that be walking you out with his arm on your shoulder, talking about, damn, man, my fault. That was bad. They shouldn't have did that to you, man. But it's the same one that put the shit out there in the first place. Here's my thing. Here's my advice. Go to work to make money and come back home. That's it. Go to work, make your money, and then come back home. Everything else is null and void. There's, there's no reason in today, this year, this era, this, this time, there should be no reason that you should be hanging out with your co-workers. Unless you're at a trust stop and unless they don't work at the same company, then yeah, maybe you can co coexist with with other workers with other companies. But with the same company? No, no, because it'll be that same person that be hanging out with the with the faculty that be talking about you, that be snitching about you. They'll pull that person in the office and say, hey, what's going on out there? Oh, well, that person right there in truck number such and such and such and such. Well, I, I noticed in his truck that he got some items in there that don't need to be in there. And then you'll get a call from safety. Hey, how you doing? Do you by chance have this, that, and this in your truck? Like, you'll be like, what? Or how about being on the road with your same coworkers and let's say you get a call from dispatch and you're on the phone. You're on the phone. Now, you're not supposed to be on the phone, but dispatch has a bad habit of calling while you're driving. So you're on the phone. You got the phone about two, three inches away from your mouth. You're on speaker. Then up all of a sudden, one of your coworkers pulls up on the side of you. They see you on the phone. They take a picture of you and your truck and your truck number. And then about a day later, you get a call from safety. Hey, are you in such and such truck? Like, yeah. How come you was on the phone? I was talking to dispatch. They they know not to call us. They know not to call us, why they, but we, we have to answer the phone because they needed us to answer. They have be in their feelings if we don't. Oh, yeah. No, I just wanted to say that we got a picture of you driving down the way, and it came from a co-worker. It's crazy, right? Your own co-worker. So, again, in 2024, me personally, I don't see the need to be hanging with co-workers trucking co-workers all i just see is to get in make your money and go home that's about it don't do no favors 
don't be overly nice don't try to be brown nosing with the with the faculty just go in there hey hi give me my information i'm gone i don't even like hanging around the terminal when i get in there i like to get my stuff and i'm out you hang around the terminal too long at my previous company they'll come out and be like hey we're kind of short-handed and and we kind of need your help can you help us a little bit and you about to get ready to go home you already got one foot in the car but yet they come running outside we we're short-handed right now we need somebody to make these pickups because we don't have nobody to want to work for us because they're cheap and all like that and whatever the case and you standing there like fine i'll help out oh thank you thank you do they offer some extra nope do they give you a pat on the back nope do they say thank you yeah in their own condescending way but i want extra money though like yo can you break me off some lunch or something like that no no you you get some extra miles in so me don't be overly friendly don't be overly excited just come in do the work and leave now again like i said just go in there and do what you need to do now i'm not saying you're not supposed to be friendly no 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 i'm not saying that it's cool say hi be respectful and everything i'm just saying you don't need to be overly friendly so before i get on up out of here one more thing i want to say about the co-workers again your co-workers could be your biggest ops they be the same people that don't like nice people you come in there you be nice you do what you need to do nice people don't nice nice people is always dead last when it comes to work environment a lot of co-workers don't like nice people people don't like nice people definitely in the work environment people don't like cool people don't people don't like level-headed people they your ops those your ops like i said those are the same people that like to take advantage of you they like to instead of mingling with you they want to be your competition they want to know how much you make it where you driving who you cool with again like i said they be your biggest ops and you need to watch it so for this right here and i do appreciate you guys listening thank you very much don't show no weakness don't be overly nice come in do your job get paid and leave if it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road you wouldn't have none of y'all shit this video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver